3631 Tactical here. Today we're going to do a reloading slash malfunction drill. Somebody watched our one second shotgun challenge video and requested that we do a, a reloading malfunction uh, uh, video. So what we did was we got uh, dummy rounds, about 10 dummy rounds and about 30 live rounds. And my partner, my range partner here, mixed those up amongst three magazines. Are those magazines ready? Here we go. So I have no idea the configuration of these mags, how many rounds are in, how many live rounds, how many dummy rounds. And what I'm gonna do is make the gun hot and I'm just gonna shoot until I either come across a dummy round I'm gonna have to do a malfunction clearance or till the mag runs dry then I'm gonna have to reload so we're gonna be reloading and uh, clearing malfunctions all right the whole purpose of this drill is to clear those malfunctions and to reload but also to see how smooth you can transition from clearing a malfunction to re-establishing your grip get back on target and getting that next shot off right so that's what we're gonna try to be smooth and fluid A little sketchy on that last reload, but that's why we practice to, to try to perfect this. All right, let's go check out the target. Now with this drill, the important thing, like I said, is, is remember to reestablish that grip. After you tap and rack and you clear that malfunction, you gotta get the right grip before you start sending those rounds back, back down range. Same thing with the reloads. <clears throat> When I run dry and I get my new mag in, I gotta get, I gotta reestablish that grip so that I can send those next rounds fast and accurate and be, you know, get good hits on target as I'm doing that. Hey, so try that reloading malfunction drill out for yourself, and remember check us out on YouTube at 3631 Tactical, or check us out at 3631Tactical.com for any Michigan-based CPO class or other firearms training. Thanks for watching.